Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Bruges is the best place to spend Christmas in Belgium. It's really nice and magical. Let's go check it out. You can easily get distracted wandering the cobbled streets and channels of medieval Bruges. We wanted to first get some perspective over the city. The perfect place is the Belfry set in UNESCO World Heritage Central Square. Come on. What's up there? The view. Hundred sixty six steps. Still have a bit to go, guys. The climb up the 400 stairs takes a bit of an effort, but there are lookouts and a few exhibitions to catch your breath along the way. The higher you go, the narrower and steeper it gets. With our exercise for the day completed, we headed to a more relaxing and comfortable way of seeing the city with one of the many boat tours. They also provide an English commentary of the historical highlights of the city. Do you think this is good? No, I think what's good? You know, going around a boat, looking at stuff. While Colin Farrell seemed unimpressed by his Bruges boat tour, our kids got really excited when the boat was crossing the low bridges and they were seeing swans. With two essential Bruges experiences crossed from the list, it was time to warm up a bit. We signed up for a tour and tasting at Half Moon Brewery that takes about one hour. Other than learning about the beer production process, the highlight of the tour was the view from the brewery rooftop. At the end of the tour we tried three local beers with the dark one being our favorite. So they build a pipeline under the city that brings the beer from the brewery to the bars. It's just the life. Beer goes better with some food, so we paired our tasting with a light lunch of Belgium fries, tomato sauce meatballs and local cheese croquettes. For dessert, we stopped at a waffle stand in the central square. There's nothing like enjoying a warm waffle on a cold winter day. At this point, we were left with one Bruges specialty to try, the chocolate. We went to a coffee shop where you can customize your own hot drink. The upstairs cozy tea room feels like you are visiting your grandparents on a winter day. Although it was called Death by Chocolate, we agreed that a more appropriate name for the drink would be Death by Sugar. But just in case this is not enough, there is more chocolate to buy downstairs. The perfect souvenir from Bruges. Let's go out and have a look at some of the, the old medieval buildings and that. I bet they look even better at night all lit up. Well, that sounds pretty much right. The best way to explore the city is walking its cobbled streets, entering the quirky shops and taking in the atmosphere. We started our walk in early afternoon, but as we visited at Christmas time, the city got covered in lights as soon as it got slightly dark. That there is called the Grotus Museum. <laughs> they all have funny names, don't they? Yes, Flemish. If you don't want to walk, you can also explore the city in a horse-drawn carriage.
we couldn't have visited Bruges without stopping at its famous Christmas market, one of the few that remained open in Belgium. This place is said to get you into the holiday mood. In our case, it worked. But then it might also just be the hot wine and too much sweets. the magical day in Bruges with a carousel ride. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.